Namaskar, I am Jayashree Sethi. How are you all today? We are here to have some chit chat, sing a poem and learn some new words and phrases. The chapter that we have got for you today is from the unit 3 from your book Mridang. It is titled Food. What comes to your mind when you hear this word food? Aloo puri, pizza or fruits and vegetables. What do you see on your screen right now? I see some fruits and some vegetables. Ah, there is this green color, big ball size. Watermelon, green from outside, red from inside. Then I see some turnips also, which are purple in color. Turnips are called shaljam in Hindi. And I also see some cherries, some mangoes, some bananas. Oh, there's loki, bottle guard as well. Some pears, pineapple. Ah, it's a big bunch in front of you. So what do you see? I named some fruits and some vegetables. Can you name some fruits and vegetables? There may be some vegetables that you don't like to eat. Some children that I meet, they tell me that ma'am we don't like to eat brinjals. Do you see brinjal? Meaning bagan in this picture? Yes or no? Okay, how many fruits are there? Can you count the fruits? Or can you tell me the name of the fruits that are red in color? Okay, let's see the fruits which are red in color. I see cherries, watermelon, which is cut. There are carrots, pomegranate, anar. I also see a mango, which is half red, half yellow. Then there are fruits that are yellow in color like banana and mango. So this was fun. So there are fruits and vegetables and they are very healthy for us. So you cannot always ask your mama to make food that is not so healthy. So even the vegetables that are bitter in taste, but when they're served with love, they are good for our health and our gut, meaning our tummy. How about singing a poem? Are you ready? So what do you see on your screen? Lovely. It seems like a beautiful garden. Oh, such a big tree. And what do you see on this tree? A fruit. Can you tell me the name of this fruit? Right. That's an apple. Red, crunchy and good for your health. They say, one apple a day keeps the doctor away. Hmm, can we count these apples? One, two, three, four, five. What else do I see here? Oh, there's this man. He looks very tired. He's a traveler and resting under the tree. <gasps> there's a squirrel too who is running up the tree. Oh, there's a little birdie who is resting in her nest. <gasps> and a little rabbit too. So, there are five apples. One for the traveler. One for the rabbit. One for the bird. One for the squirrel. Four are gone. One is remaining. Who will eat that one remaining apple? Tell me. You said I. Ah, you. If you eat that, will you share that with me? How about singing this poem? One, two, three, four, five. Five red apples hanging on the tree. Five red apples hanging on the tree. One for the traveler who rests under the tree. One for the bird who nests on the tree. One for the bird who nests on the tree. One for the squirrel who runs up the tree. One for the squirrel who runs up the tree. One for the rabbit 
who lives under the tree one for the rabbit who lives under the tree one for you to share with me one for you to share with me ah sharing is caring and sharing is bliss also if we change apple and put mangoes can we count these mangoes now 1 2 3 4 Five. Let's sing the same poem, but replacing apple with mango. One, two, three, four, five. Five yellow mangoes hanging on the tree. Five yellow mangoes hanging on the tree. One for the traveler who rests under the tree. One for the traveler who rests under the tree. One for the bird who nests on the tree. One for the squirrel who runs up the tree. One for the rabbit who lives under the tree. One for you to share with me. Now you can keep singing this poem. Keep changing the fruit, and rest poem remains the same. One is for the traveler who is resting under the tree. One is for the bird who has a nest on the tree. One for the squirrel who runs up the tree. One for the rabbit who lives under the tree, and one for you to share with me. It's a fun poem that you can sing along with your classmates or your friends. You sang along with me. You also heard it. So tell me. with whom does the tree share its fruits shall i give you a hint ah who rests under the tree you got it right traveler then there was a squirrel there was a bird rabbit and you So the tree shares its fruits with all five of us. There are five mangoes, there are five apples, and you can have any other fruit of your choice in the counts of five. Now tell me, what do you share with your brother, sister, or friends? Hmm? Do you share your toys, clothes, pencils, erasers? crayons tiffin and how do you share it with your friends or your brother or sister if there's a fruit and i have to share it with my sister i'll cut it into two and then sprinkle some salt add some lime and take a big bite let's go back to the poem circle the words for f o r for and on o n in the poem So let's go there. Five red apples hanging on the tree. One for the traveler who rests under the tree. One for the bird who nests on the tree. One for the squirrel who runs up the tree. One for the rabbit who lives under the tree one for you to share with me the next poem is mangoes so in similar fashion we circle f o r for and o n on now there is this task for you if you go out to play in a garden you can do a fruit party or you can discuss among your classmates and plan a fruit party how do you go about it carry one fruit to your class when you take it out in the class wash it well right uh, your teacher will uh, help you with this and then you prepare a fruit chart sit in a circle and enjoy eating it together 
so while you would have this fruit party you're eating your fruits together you will have so much to talk discuss and share i had a great time singing a poem with you talking to you i hope you felt the same i'll meet you the next time and share another story see you Thank you.